Hey guys, today I'm going to show you 5 tips and tricks for Affinity Software version 2. So which program we're going to look into exactly? Actually, the tricks I'm going to show you today can be used across the whole Affinity suite. So you can use them in all three programs, Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo and Affinity Publisher. So you can learn those five tips and use them all around in every program you own. All right, let's jump into it. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. Here I am in Affinity Designer, but as I mentioned already, all of those tricks will work across the suite. So we can use them in Designer, Photo and Publisher. The trick number one is this quick grid feature. Some people think it's only for designer, it's not. It's all across, you can use in any program you want. So how to trigger this quick grid? While you're drawing any shape, you can trigger that by pressing arrows. Let me show you how. So let's say I wanna draw, we will not pick rectangle, let's go with something more complex. Okay, star. I'm drawing this star right now. That's just shape tool, but if I press arrow to the right, I will be drawing two in the same time. One more time, three, four, five, etc. All right, if I do the same thing, but pressing arrow down, now I'm drawing four rows. So this is why we call it quick grid, because we can quickly generate multiple shapes in just one time. This can kind of uh, replace our power duplicate. If you need to draw multiple stars like this, you can do it one time. And the good part is everything is selected after you finish drawing those shapes. So you can of course move them all together if you want, like as one object, but you can also turn on this a little toggle at the top. Transform objects separately. With this turn on, we transform like one object only and everything else will follow. So we can give rotation to it and we can make some adjustment after we draw them. So that's really, really cool. All right. So as you can see, it's really handy. And as I mentioned, it's working all across, not only in designer. You can use it in Affinity Photo and Publisher as well. Let's try with this little, this little rectangle. Of course, I can just press arrow to the right, but if I press and hold, I will be adding spacing. All right, and it will be exactly the same if you go down. By pressing, we're adding more shapes, but if you press and hold, you can create some spacing. So that's really handy. I think this is a really nice tool. I never know I will need this, but now I already <laughs> get used to it. It's really handy. All right, so now I'm adding some spacing, drawing those rectangles like this, and now I can quickly duplicate all of that. And now I want to select them as one whole object. So switch off, select separately. So in this case, we can kind of create the actual grid using this tool. All right. And all of those objects can be quickly unite into one. And that's what we made very quickly using this quick grid. Keep in mind, it's not only for circles or rectangles. You can use any shape from the shape panel, all right? So you need hearts, not a problem. Here, we can create hearts. If you hold and press, you can go for spacing. You release, you still can transform them. You can even select only the one you need every second shape let's say and then we can have interesting transformation i would turn on transform separately and now i can 
make some interesting patterns very quickly take a look i create that in seconds so that's quick grid tool working across the whole spectrum of apps in version 2. my second hack that will work in all three programs is style picker we always got color picker here right but now if you press and click there will be style picker under and that's super handy because in style picker we can select what we want to copy take a look there are several things at the top stroke fill opacity layer effects we got character settings paragraph settings object settings we can untangle them we can turn them on all or just one we need so let's create object with a style this will be a little circle like that we're going to add some fx layer effects to it so maybe inner glow all right inner glow like that and classic outer shadow all right and now if i create another object over here i can simply use the style picker to pick the style from this first object Ta-da! very quick and also works across across the suite so in all three apps all right that was the hack number two let's move to the next one also related to style multi fx multi effects on one layer so in the past you can turn on and off effect but nowadays as you can see in the new layer effect panel we got something like plus this way we can duplicate the effect we can apply two effects three effects of the same kind on one object so if you put gradient for example gradient overlay like this i can add one more gradient this time like that all right so we can put two different gradients and mix them adjusting opacity and blending modes all right so keep that in mind we can make multiple styles multiple effects of the same style on one object now and that's also all across the suite so all three programs benefit from this new option of making duplicates of the style all right hack number four new asset panel so asset panel was refreshed it's not a huge change but it's now working across all three apps exactly the same way and the good thing is we can drag and drop the whole folders with the assets no problem now so we can simply go to our window and by default asset panel is switched off so we need to turn this on here all right as you can see my asset panel is empty but now we don't need to only add assets from inside program we can also put assets by dra dragging and dropping folders or assets inside here from your system that's really cool if you don't know how to add asset take a look you can draw something and if you think like this would be useful for you later on you can just click here in the asset panel add from selection and you can keep your asset this way later on you can drag and drop this out and that's how you can keep important assets in this separate panel and now you can use it all across three programs and it's a little bit improved because we can easily import and export assets all right so asset panel is also something you can use across three programs and the last tip it's not really a tip but i want to mention that now the layer panel is refreshed as i mentioned in my very last tutorial so if you watch that you know everything about this already <laughs> but i will repeat some of that here this whole layer panel is refreshed we got those indicating icons now we can also do multi-clipping and a few other little things that improve overall workflow and that's not only for designer or only for photo like i showed last time in affinity photo it's all across three apps so if you learn all of those new features of layer panel in one app it will work exactly the same in the another app so 
For example, we don't have checkboxes anymore. Nowadays, we got those little dots. We can press and hold to switch off multiple layers and turn on visibility of multiple layers as well by pressing and holding. That's really handy. I didn't know I need that, but it's really speeding up sometimes when you need to play with multiple layers. And of course, a little indication in front telling us type of the layer. Also, we can recognize child layers better. And the most important here is this multi-clipping. So what I mean by multi-clipping is if you got, let's say you got object like this and you can clip another object into it, of course. So let's get this blue guy here. So I drop this inside this object. I cannot see it because it's clipped inside. I can only see it if it's overlapping this first object. So I clip one object into another. That was that's very normal. It was in the version one as well. It's still in the version one. But now I can go further and I can, for example, create this hard shape here. Sorry, I don't want to create that in the group. So here I can apply some effects like blur, for example. So we got this blur hard shape. And now this, this circle already got one object clip inside, but I can now drag and drop this in it here. And now I will be clipping the clip, already clip object using this hard shape, the blur hard shape. All right, so that's multi-clipping. We can combine multiple objects to clip each other and it's very, very nice now in this new redesign layer panel. So let's summarize this short video. The layer panel was redesigned across all three apps and now it's work very same on all three apps. We got new asset panel where we can drag and drop whole folders and you can use, we got very similar experience across all three apps as well. We can apply now multiple layer effects on one object. It's exactly the same in all three apps. We can use a very new tool called Style Picker. It's not only for designer, we can use Style Picker in Photo and Publisher as well. And while drawing a shape, you can use this quick grid feature and it's also available in Designer, Photo and Publisher. All right, I hope those five tips for Affinity Suite that will work across all three apps were helpful, bring you some value Consider subscribing to my little YouTube channel for more Affinity tutorials and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!